What is going on, collectors? I am back with another figure review. And finally, finally, I am reviewing the Diamond Select Carnage. Now, this has been a long time coming. I have had this figure for about a year now. It was before I started doing YouTube. And I just, I, I never got around to reviewing it, which <laughs> I should be kicking myself because, I mean, this, this is up there with probably my favorite figures that I have right now. I mean, this Carnage has it all. I mean, it has the tendrils. It has three different types of heads. It has, bas well, basically the two hands that you see, plus it has a battle axe hand, and then it has a stabbing hand. I mean, this is the definitive Carnage. Well, I mean, until, co um, well, what is that company? I forget. Um, the, the, the link will be in the description. But, um... This is pretty much the definitive carnage until that one comes out. But I've seen that carnage and it looks really badass. I'm going to get it. It just it doesn't have the multiple different heads that this one has. Anyways, despite all that, we're talking about this carnage. I mean, as you can see just getting it into this one pose right here. I mean, it just shows off just how badass carnage is. And it's really awesome. I mean, this is a work of master I mean this is a masterpiece uh, carnage is one of my favorite villains I mean him and venom just all-around badass despite spider-man I mean spider-man's awesome of course but carnage is just the definitive badass him and Joker are probably my two fa favorite villains um, but yeah I, I can't say enough good things about this figure and it's no wonder that this figure has gone up in price. I mean, it has it all. Uh, just the the artwork of it, the sculpt, the articulation. Like I said, this fi this Carnage has it all. Uh, I mean, in my opinion, I mean, I don't I don't even care that I that I never got that Marvel Legend Carnage because this one blows that Carnage out of the water. I mean, people can disagree with me, of course, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but <laughs> this is my opinion, and my opinion is this Carnage beats that Carnage out by by miles. So. I don't have the original box because, like I said, I opened this up a year ago, and this is just a fun figure to pose. I, I mean, when I go to figures to, like, pose them every now and then, I mean, I'm always just doing different stuff with this guy because, I mean, just everything that it comes with, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. So before I get to this guy and his articulation, I'm just going to show everything that that came with him. I, I do have everything, of course. I would never I would never lose any of that stuff. Um, I just don't have the original box, like I said. So we're going to get into everything that, that comes with him. So stay tuned. So like I said, this Carnage comes with such an amazing assortment of accessories. So we'll get into the heads right now. As you can see, he comes with two other different heads. He comes with the Cletus Cassidy head. Let me adjust that, you can see that. Comes with the Cletus Cassidy head. Get some light on that. And the sculpting is just awesome. So you, you see the red eyebrows and then basically just, uh, just a glimpse of his face of uh, the Cletus Cassidy face and then you have basically the um the symbiote just uh basically on the outside which is awesome so you have that carnage symbiote on the outside and then you have the exposed cletus cassidy and every little detail i mean <laughs> cletus cassidy is a sick sob but this face basically screams just psychopath you know, you, you have this this crazy, sm not even smile, it's just basically like a grin. And then it looks like scars that are that are sculpted onto his, uh, his face. There you go. So it looks like just scars. I mean, his face lo just looks basically distorted. Everything that you, that you would want from a crazy psychopath. And then 
I can really appreciate how they sculpted these pieces right here. So basically, um, the symbiote kind of uh, comes off a little bit, like like it would uh, expose his face. So that's how it would be. Or it could be the other way around. The symbiote is basically going to wrap over his face. So really awesome how they did that. Very awesome. And then we'll get into the traditional carnage face that everybody everybody from the 90s uh, will uh, recognize. An easy recognizable carnage face. Very sculpted, very awesome. Like I said, I can understand why this figure has gone up in price. And I wish that I could get another one just to keep in package, because this is this is the carnage. But I'm glad that I opened up, opened him up, because like I said, he is very fun to pose. You know, you, you have those figures that, you know, you get them and they're not, they, don't, they not only look really good, but they're also awesome to pose. Give them that definitive, you know, statue-like look. So yeah, I like how they, they put the pink in, then you have the black, the white. And there's not really any mess up either, as I can, if I can tell. Just a perfect sculpt, perfect paint. No smudges. Very awesome. And then of course we'll get into the multiple uh, tendrils. Or you know what? I'll do that in a second. I'll show off uh, this battle axe. So we have this battle axe, which is of course <laughs> sculpted nice. I mean, whoever... I forget who sculpted this figure, but, um, I mean, they should be commended. This and that Venom figure, I want to get my hands on that Venom. I saw him at Comic-Con um, when I went last month, but, of course, he was going for, like, 50 bucks, and I had already spent enough. But, in <laughs> anyways, um, so, of course, you have, basically, the, the symbiote just uh, forming this, this battle axe-type blade. Sculpted very nice. And then we have this stabbing spear, which is basically basically sculpted like the battle axe. You have the red right here, and then you have the basically like this looks like a like not metal, but kind of um, like iron, like lead or something, like a like a rusty pipe type of look. Which doesn't surprise me. I mean, coming from a maniac like Cletus Cassidy and, of course, the Carnage. So, of course, their weapons would look crude and basically like just a, a rusty piece of metal. So, I really dig that look. Now, on to the tendrils. So, we basically come with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like nine. Yeah, nine tendrils. <laughs> So they, they come in different shapes, of course. And they're sculpted really nice. They're pretty much all sculpted the same. So we get four of these long ones. They basically look like wet, like um like a Spider-Man uh wet like a like he's shooting a web, so they have this look going for it, which is awesome. And it's a, it's really cool that they did that they did it like this having these different types of tendrils because when you're posing carnage basically with the tendrils coming out of them you can't just all have you can't just have just all just straight tendrils you have to have just different sizes and shapes so that's cool that they did that I have this big one and again sculpted really nice you have that red that red plastic with black shading. And then we have these small ones. And again, it's pretty much all sculpted and shaded the same, except we get different ones. So 
So very awesome. Very amazing. So now that we've gone over accessories, let's get into the figure. So looking at this very awesome Carnage again, I have them displayed without the tendrils because I wanted to get into the figure. We already went over the accessories, so I just wanted to show you what this figure is all about. Why he's basically as hyped up as he is, which the hype is real. It's a very awesome figure, but basically why people just uh, make a big fuss over him which what I'm doing right now I just I, I can't say enough good things about this figure I mean this is like I said this is my definitive figure this is easily very easily in my top five figures I mean it could possibly be my number one figure I mean it this figure just like I said it's it's amazing it's amazing to pose and yeah I mean I could look at this figure all day long I wish that I could buy another one but unfortunately yeah, it's way too much. I got very lucky. Uh, last year, <laughs> I actually got this guy for 27 bucks, And, I mean, that's nothing compared to how much he is now. I mean, how much is he going for? Almost 80 bucks. So, I think I lucked out. So, just uh, turning this figure around, I mean, just the the sculpting and the paint that they used, I mean going for the i mean just the right lighting it looks like that that wet symbiote shiny look and that's something that you would want to go for when making carnage so getting him in that right lighting it's going to it's just going to make this figure that much better it's going to it's going to bring you that 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 carnage experience getting him in the right lighting like i have right now so, he comes with uh, these Freddy Krueger hands, as you have been seeing, and they basically are on a T-joint, so his hand will move forward and back. And then, because, uh, because his hand has a peg, he'll be, you know, of course he'll turn the 360. His uh, chest right here, of course, can move down. And then his waist can also move too. His arm is on a single joint, but that doesn't really make a difference to me. His uh, knee does have double joints. So, of course, if you're going to get him into that that crazy just a uh, carnage look now you can have him do that and then right here that's not really ankle it's more of um oh what's that word i'm looking for it's got that thigh swivel And then his foot is can uh can go a little bit of a side to side. And then his legs are on a T, so they can go out to the side. I'm not gonna stretch it out because yes, this figure does have that type of articulation. But just like with any figure, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it. You guys get the idea. And then he comes with, uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video, he comes with uh, these holes that you can insert the, the carnage tendrils. So all throughout the figure you have three holes in the back, then you have one on top, then you have one on the arm, and then you have another one on the arm. So... The possibilities are pretty endless when you if you want to customize different tendrils. I can really appreciate that they included basically they just they look like Freddy Krueger type claws. So I can definitely appreciate that. It just it, it makes this this carnage that much that much more menacing. So I could go all day make a 
make an hour video of how much I love this figure, how much he's awesome. But as I'll always, I mean, oh, what is that? That was a little piece of dust. <laughs> As always, I have to end my videos on this note. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave, leave a like, leave a comment telling me what I'm doing right, telling me what I'm doing wrong. I appreciate the support from each and every one of you. Um, collect what you love, and I will see you all in the next video.